Mayday, 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 this is Cactus 1549. Mayday is an internationally recognized distress call which primarily sailors and airplane pilots use to indicate a life-threatening emergency. It's specifically meant for voice transmission, not text or visual signals, and so it's traditionally conveyed over radio. It must be spoken three times in a row, Mayday, 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 to ensure clarity and urgency. Mayday comes from the French phrase Mayday, which means help me. It was in 1923 that the English version of Mayday became a universal distress signal, according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary. So how does a Mayday call work exactly? The pilot, ship captain or operator realizes the situation is life-threatening, like a fire on board, engine failure, collision, sinking or crash risk. They immediately tune into the appropriate radio frequency. They say the word Mayday three times to ensure it's clearly conveyed. Then. They give more details such as who they are, as in aircraft, a ship's name or number, where they are in terms of coordinates or nearest landmark, what is wrong, like the nature of the emergency, what they need, such as rescue, medical help, etc., and the number of people on board. After this, the air traffic control or coast guard acknowledges and arranges for help. If nobody responds, the Mayday call is repeated intermittently. In the case of the Air India Flight 171 going from Ahmedabad to London on 12th June 2025, the pilot gave a Mayday call to the Air Traffic Controller or ATC. But the Directorate General of Civil Aviation said subsequent calls by the ATC to the aircraft went unanswered. The plane took off at 1.38pm from the Ahmedabad airport. But soon after the takeoff, it crashed into a residential area outside the airport perimeter. <laughs> Air India said in a statement that the Boeing 787-8 aircraft was carrying 242 passengers and crew with 169 Indian nationals, 53 British passengers, one Canadian and seven Portuguese passengers. The sole survivor, identified as Vishwas Kumar Ramesh, told Hindustan Times, 30 seconds after takeoff, there was a loud noise and then the plane crashed. It all happened so quickly. This is the first time that a Boeing 787 Dreamliner crashed since its launch in 2011. The Times of India reported that whistleblowers had been raising concerns about the Boeing 787 Dreamliner for years. One of them was John Barnett, who had told the BBC in 2019 that employees had been deliberately fitting substandard parts to the aircraft to avoid delays in the production process. He had also alleged that the oxygen systems on the plane were faulty, implying that one in four breathing masks would fail to work in an emergency situation. John worked for Boeing for 32 years and retired in 2017. In March 2024, he died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to the police. His family sued Boeing, alleging that a hostile work environment drove him to death. Back in the Ahmedabad crash incident, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said on X, The tragedy in Ahmedabad has stunned and saddened us. It is heartbreaking beyond words. In this sad hour, my thoughts are with everyone affected by it. Have been in touch with ministers and authorities who are working to assist those affected. What happens after an aircraft crashes? The first plan of action is for security forces to reach the site and secure the area until state-appointed investigators arrive to study it. Once investigators reach the site, they look for the black box and gather all the wreckage and debris they can after photographing the site. The black box is basically a data recorder which is designed in a way that it survives a plane crash. It contains all the information related to the flight such as speed, altitude and engine performance as well as the sounds and conversations taking place in the cockpit. So, the black box becomes a crucial piece of evidence in figuring out what happened. India's Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, AAIB, gives the investigator in charge unhampered access to the wreckage to make sure they can carry out a detailed examination without delay. The AAIB does not allow the wreckage to be removed or interfered with unless rescuers need to remove the debris 
to pull out people or animals who might be trapped, or if the plane crashes on water and investigators need to secure the wreckage and move it to safety. Reconstruction of the wreckage helps investigators study things such as structural damage, like whether the plane broke mid-air or on impact, or whether the engines failed, or whether the flight controls were working properly. The personal luggage of the passengers is allowed to be removed after photography and weighing of the crash site is done. Photography is used as a means of preserving evidence. Investigators also look at weather reports, flight plans, and aircraft maintenance history. In some cases, simulators are used to recreate the flight scenario. Aircraft manufacturers, such as Boeing in this case, and third-party labs may be consulted for technical analysis. Once the investigation is completed, the parts of the aircraft are returned to owner or operator or his representative or any person or persons duly designated by the state of registry or the state of the operator in case of foreign registered aircraft, according to AAIB. The investigating agencies prepare a preliminary report and then a final report, which is made public. But if new evidence emerges, the investigation can be reopened. As per the International Civil Aviation Organization, a preliminary report should be filed within 30 days of an accident. And generally, air crash investigation reports could take months or years to be finalized. According to the Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, analysis of crashes are done so that similar accidents can be prevented and not to assign blame. According to Travel Data Provider Official Aviation Guide, an average of 1 lakh commercial flights take off every day. And as per the International Air Transport Association, accidents are extremely rare. The association said in its 2024 annual safety report that in 40.6 million flights, seven fatal accidents took place.